This is Riva Fox, the Arts and Culture Director of the JCC, and I'm here with Catherine Oppenheim-Zenz and Ellen Oppenheim-Johnson. And we are talking to them about their father's photography, which is featured in an exhibit in the Serlo Gallery at the Harry and Rose Sampson Family JCC. And their father's name was Robert Oppenheim. Thank you both for being here. You're welcome. Thanks welcome. for having us. So you are his daughters. Are you the only siblings? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Um, did you know your dad was a photographer growing up? Absolutely. Camera was always in part of the world, our part of the world. <laughs> yeah. Did, did he photograph you guys all the time too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well-documented childhood. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. In, in, into a point of embarrassment. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> he was always there at our grade school functions, high school functions. He was the man out there, no other parent, just our dad, taking photos of everything and everyone, which was great once we were home, but during the time it was very embarrassing. Of course. <laughs> but, the, but the people and the parents were very appreciative yes. um, all the time. Um, because then he would develop them, some of them, and he would, he would share gift them, them mm -hmm. oh, to people. Yeah, and, and our, our friends still talk about the pictures they have that he took of them. Oh, wow. And also families um, asked him to come to their homes, take family photos, and then he did some very interesting um, portraitures and the way he like would put them on different Oh yeah, that's right. The size boxes and how he from different them. depths. Oh. Like each individual person yeah, would be right. on a, their own those. thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he was an artist beyond just the image in the camera. Yes. He had artistry about how he developed the film, artistry about how he staged the film. Displayed the... them. Yes. Definitely. Mm -hmm. The the whole dark room experience for him was really he loved it, and that's where a lot of the artistry happened. You know, how, how long he would expose things, you know, how he would frame, uh, you know, decide how much of the picture to show, stuff right. like that. Like the one behind you, the hard times photo, looks yeah. like it's drawn, but now we would do that with a filter or a, an app, but right. he did it through he the dark room. He did it through how he developed it. it. Yes. That's fascinating. He, he was in multiple clubs, so I'm sure there was a lot of sharing of technique and all that. We have Racine um, Photo Club he was involved in, and I know Milwaukee okay. um, something. So it was more than one group where he was learning and sharing. Did he have, were those his friends? Did he have a social life through photography? I would say somewhat. Um, they weren't his, like, you know, I don't know, neighborhood friends, um, but certainly people he respected and, yeah. and liked the yeah. club part of it. But no, I don't think above and beyond out of the club. Right. I, I would agree with that. What was his regular job? Go ahead. So he got his degree in elect electrical engineering and... Um, at the University of Wisconsin mm -hmm. on the GI Bill. Okay. He so did this full II? engineering in three years. Wow. And he served in World War II? He did. At the end of the war, he was had become a, a U.S. citizen. He joined the Navy. And he taught electronics in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Radio. It was radio. Okay. Yeah. Um, when did he come to America and how did he get to Milwaukee? It was in um, 38. He was sponsored by a family in Milwaukee, and um, he was 18 years old. His sister came a month later. She was actually one year older than he was. Her name was Marion, and she was sponsored by a family in New York City. So that's where she went. Okay. He came to Milwaukee and um, started working. It came over on the U.S. Washington yeah. ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he did not come into um, Ellis Island. No. Um, but came through New but York. But came through New York past the Statue of Liberty and all. Yeah. So. so he, as a very young man, came alone 
to yeah. Milwaukee. That's right. Um, did he feel like an immigrant, or did he feel like a Milwaukee guy? Like, oh, being once only he was in Milwaukee for sixteen years, I am still considered a newbie to Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. So, well, certainly we didn't know him for a sure. long time after. But I think at the time we were in the picture, he was felt very comfortable and had a had a big circle of people he felt comfortable with, many of them from Germany. Okay. So they kind of found each other and um, he had lots of friends. And it, you know, at some point the Jewish Community Center um, just became, mad. you know, a connection for him, um, for friends, for exercise. Yeah. He would take us all the time to yeah. swimming when... Um, yeah, we learned to swim at the JCC. And um, so I'm not exactly sure when he got involved with JCC, but that was... We were pretty young. That was... Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 he was already in it. Great. Right. Okay. Sorry. And I think his connection, to, um, maybe with the Stearns who had sponsored him yes. to come over. So there was some other um, Jewish friendships and yeah, right, relationships right that he, the yeah, that. Are the Stearns still in Milwaukee, like their children or? Uh, no. Okay. How did your parents meet? That's a cute story. I think it's so fun because um, my mother was working receptionist, right? Yep. At the um, Miller Theater on Oakland Avenue. I, I forgot what it's called now. It's the Mira Rep. Miramar or something. Oh, yeah. But the, that became the Rep. The Miller oh, Theater. Okay. That became the repertory. Okay. And... Um, so she would be answering the phone. He part of his business was in um, had to do with the lighting and the electronics behind the staging. And um, he called and and my and my mom said, "Well, you know, hello, Mr. Oppenheim." And he's like, with his German accents, like, "Well, how did you know it was me?" I mean, I can't do German accents. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, he thought that was so wonderful that. <laughs> <laughs> she could recognize him, who it was, and um, yeah, and so yeah, it it blossomed from there. Aww. I love that. <laughs> um, what did did your dad ever talk about what he liked about Milwaukee, or do you feel like that shows up in any of his photos? What he liked about Milwaukee? People. He loved to photograph people. And, and and architecture, mm -hmm. architecture. He loved patterning. He took lots of pictures under the freeway of all the posts, and he loved patterns. Um, I think he felt very comfortable in Milwaukee. Um, yeah. The he had talked about a similarity um, oh. of Milwaukee to where Mon he came from. Monheim. Monheim was his hometown. Yep. And I, th I think the people, the work ethic, the friendliness, pretty much. Um, yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, and he, yeah, he, he found jobs. Yeah. I remember he was saying early on, like, um, he would ride his bike to different, you know, to, to ask for work, you know, to see what he might. What might be available. Um, he, he had a fun um, philosophy about doing things, going places, and he taught us the worst they can say is no. So he would always try things and the worst they can say is no and I live by that now. But so he was always adventurous trying to get place. He took us on some ships down in Jones Island. On Jones Island that I was scared to death, but he said, don't worry, worst they can say is no. <laughs> and they invited us on. They were having a wedding party and we joined and had food with them. And yeah. it was it was awesome. Yeah. And Sunday was our day with our father because yeah. he worked a lot with mm -hmm. Miltronics, his um, his business. And he called it a job shop, electronic job shop. 
but um, he would do circuit boards and the insides of a lot of uh, yeah. battery testing and I'm not sure all exactly what, but what was my point? Oh, so Sundays was our day and he would take us on, you know, JCC and other adventures, art yeah. shows. He would take us to yep. a lot of art shows, you know, or ask us if we'd want to come and I certainly always did. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so some of the ones behind you are the photos that I was really attracted to. Um, his photos tend to have a lot of one individual person, like the one with the person at the art at the art museum. Mm -hmm. But I love the hard times with the couple lying in the the grass, it with that sort of poignant book with them. And then the Black Power March is really fascinating. Someone who came from bigotry and anti-Semitism and, and right. watching the civil rights movement unfold must have been powerful for him. Yeah, he didn't talk about it that way though to us. Mm -hmm. I wish we had thought of it that way more and had more conversations about that. But he, he joined the uh, volunteer police during the riots because he, he also was very cognizant and somewhat fearful of uh, large groups of people. Sure. That was not, he did not like to go where there was really a lot of people all at one time. It's so interesting how Ellen and I, I mean, like, I wouldn't have said that. I certainly know that he was more, my mom was super social and liked big parties. Um, and he was more of a one-on-one a, a -on -one type person. And I think that's in part what, how his camera um, helped him um, out in the community, um, interacting with the different people that he would um, engage. Um, um, what was my point? Those photographs oh. show a need to connect with the individual yes. very much so. Yes, and so I think, yeah, it was like a, 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 a the icebreaker. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. And 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 a ticket to go places. And and a friend. I think it was almost like a friend too that he would. He didn't have a problem going places by himself at all. No. I think he enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And by having his camera with him, I think that, like even traveling across to Europe and such, um, the camera was his buddy. And then he would go out and then photograph the environment as well as the people. And then it would help him with relationships, I think, as far as reaching out to people. That makes perfect sense. Um, what are your favorite photographs? I know this hard because I don't have them all in here. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? I love hard times also. Um, I think I love how he, he um, this was one of the ones that he used some special techniques to bring out the black and white. Um, yeah, I love that one. Um, I love the family photos, of course, which we're not displaying too much of that. Um, <laughs> Oh, I, 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 was, I took one home from Katie's. It's a barn door with a metal hook and a rope hanging. I love that painting or photo. I love it. And yeah. I love, I love a lot of his. Um, what might be displayed? We're not, we're not sure exactly yet. Um, but when he does travel, and I think it was Mexico, just some of, he somehow was able to get kind of deep into a visual of a person. And so some of those uh, portraits, I mean, they're, they're candid. It's nothing that was set up, um, but some of those are my favorite. I'm, I do have numerous favorites and I just kind of can't think of them right now. <laughs> awesome. Those are most of my questions. Do you have anything else that you want to say about his photos? How did you feel when your 
daughter Sarah came and said, I am approaching the JCC about displaying the photos. What? Amazing. Thrilled. Amazing. Thrilled. Yeah, we're very thankful to her and proud mm -hmm. um, that she, you know, had the energy and the motivation and the passion to, um, to, to work, you know, get in touch with JCC yeah. and um, he would be so thrilled. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And my one of my girlfriends, she said, I'm so verklempt that he can't be there and to see it. <laughs> and some of his older friends will be attending and so Excellent. they're very excited. Just want to thank all of you for having the time to come along this journey of our father's artwork. And um, we're so happy to be able to share it with you. Yeah, whether you're looking at it virtually or have been able to come to see it at the JCC, um, thank you for participating and also supporting him all these years um, as friends or just enjoying his, his work, his photography. Thank you so much to JCC also.